Hello Yogi Bears and welcome to day 5 of Yoga Toba. My name is Sorsha and this is The Space Between. For today's practice, we're gonna be exploring sun salutations with Kali breath. So if you haven't already, go and check out yesterday's video where I really break down the Kali breath. It's not very long, but it just will help you to understand what we're gonna be doing for this video. So uh, we're gonna be exploring um, Kali breath as we practice. So we're gonna be moving through some asanas. We're gonna do some sun salutations today. Uh, traditionally, you would do 12 rounds of sun salutations. 12 or eight? 12. 12 rounds of sun salutations. I had to think about that for a second. Um, but today we're actually just gonna do six because we do get a little bit hot, a little bit warm with this one. So we're gonna keep it as a short practice, but obviously if you want to, you could uh, you could just double this video again if you, if you had the urge. Um, I also have a few sunstones here, little crystals. Um, and if you have any, you could bring them out too, or any crystals relating to Manipura Chakra. Um, also, little little candle because uh, I'm feeling feeling that we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be bringing the sun. We're gonna be bringing the heat into today's practice, guys. So, hop into something comfortable, and I'll see you in a minute. As always, thank you so much for watching. start uh, standing on the mat. You're gonna have, you're gonna be near the front of your mat and you're gonna have the feet about hip width apart, rocking forwards and backwards, finding a nice even weight distribution, lifting and spreading those toes, lift the inner arches, tuck the tailbone under, engage the spine and the core, hands, fingers, energetically spread. Close the eyes here for a moment. And we're gonna then come into Kali Mudra. So to do this, it's a little bit like being a Charlie's Angel. Um, so you're gonna bring your uh, fingers, interlace them. The index finger is gonna be pointing up, and then you cross over always the left thumb over the right thumb. Okay, so this is your Kali Mudra. Kali Mudra. Um, you're gonna bring that to the level of your heart and really press your palms together. Starting to build a little bit of heat, so we're pressing away from the mat with the feet, drawing telluric energy, earth energy up through the legs, and then we're lifting our energy all the way up along the spine to the heart, feeling nice and strong here. Beautiful. In a second, we're going to do a big breath in. And then as we breathe out, we're gonna do lion's breath or Kali breath. So yesterday's video is what we explored with this one. So we breathe in and as we breathe out, we stick the tongue out, open the eyes, a bit like a kind of weird maniac. Uh, Cause yeah, that's, that's how you're gonna to live today, guys. So if your neighbors are in, or well, you have a window cleaner or something, you might wanna, might wanna hide. All right, anyway, so we're gonna take a big breath in through the nose and out through the nose first. We're doing a little cleansing breath. So breathing in. One more time. Breathe in for Kali breath. <sighs> Beautiful, shoot the arms up, keeping that Kali mudra. Big breath in, soften the shoulders. So we're gonna open up the feet a little bit, ready to do our wood choppers. So we're gonna swing the arms down between the legs, bend generously in the knees, and yell out, ah, at the same time, all right? So big breath in, ah! Beautiful, bring the hands down, frame that front foot, and we're gonna step the left leg back, bring the knee down to a little lunge down here. Bringing the hands back to Kali Mudra. <laughs> Big breath. Now, if you want to, you could soften the hips here if you feel like you want to open the hips, or you could tuck the tailbone under, engaging the core instead. Whatever feels good for you today. <laughs> Lovely. Bring those hands down. We're going to step back, downward facing dog. So let's pedal out the feet a little bit here. 
fingers are nice and spread. Uh, elbows, if they're facing outwards, just roll the biceps in. Rolling the shoulders open like jam jar lids, lifting the hips up nice and high. Bend the knees generously if you need to find length in the spine. If you're a bit tight in the legs, that's okay. And then we're going to take a big full belly breath in through the nose, out through the nose. And we're going to breathe in for Kali breath. So sticking out that tongue again. Big breath in. <sighs> Lovely. Inhale, hover over into high plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Keep those elbows close to the body. Scooch those toes back. Push down even into a little baby toe at the end there. And then rolling up cobra on the elbows. Sorry, not cobra. We're going to do sphinx pose first of all. If you're feeling warm, you can do cobra. Otherwise, you can stay with me. Hanging out in sphinx. Roll the shoulder blades back and down. Closing the eyes. Big breath in through the nose. Ready. And release. This time, breathing in for Kali breath. <sighs> Lovely, curl those toes. Lifting up to downward facing dog, pedaling out here a little bit. And you're gonna step or hop to the front of your mat, forward fold. And we're gonna reach the arms all the way up. Kali Mudra, left thumb on the top. And as we release back down, we're going to do one more Kali breath. And we're going to release the hands down to the heart with this mudra. Okay, so big breath in. <sighs> Beautiful. Release the hands. So rocking backwards and forwards on the feet. Maybe stepping a little bit closer to the front of the mat. We're going to do the same now. We're going to do it on the right side, our masculine side. Okay. Hopefully you're getting used to those breaths. It's a little bit of fun as well. So... When we do those breaths, we are almost like a fire. So we're really getting rid of anything that no longer serves us. Um, also maybe any obstacles. If you think you have some obstacles, maybe you're resisting something right now, you can imagine that and you can imagine burning it away in a forest fire. All right, then we're gonna repeat this time on the right hand side. So widen your toes and your fingertips, lift and spread the toes, place them down, lift the inner arches, tuck in those hips, like a bowl of water that we have to spill nice and long the spine. Spread the fingers, close the eyes, soften the knees. Nice cleansing breath. And then bring the hands together at the heart. Kali move your left thumb on top. Push the hands together. Find some resistance. And we're going to breathe in for Kali breath. So big breath in through the nose. <laughs> Beautiful. Reach up, have a nice big stretch, widen those feet a little bit. Big breath in, soften the shoulders. And we're going to exhale for our wood chopper. So breathing in. Ah! Beautiful. Bring the hands down, frame uh, the front foot as we step the right leg back. Low lunge. Bring ourselves into Kali Mudra once more. Big breath in. Breath out. Bring the hands down, frame that front foot, step it back, downward facing dog. This time we're going to do another cardio breath, so breathing in through the nose, fill that belly up. <sighs> Cali breath. Inhale, hover into high plank, exhale, knees, chest and chin come down to the ground. Scooch those toes back, push down into the toes and rise up into your sphinx position. Big breath in, roll the shoulders back. <sighs> Cali breath. Curl the toes under, coming up to downward facing dog. And this time stepping or hopping to the front of your mat, forward fold. Take a few breaths here. Nice long spine. Sweep the arms all the way up. Kali Mudra. And big breath in as we exhale for Kali Mudra. Bring the hands to the heart. Big breath in. Release the hands with the eyes closed. Maybe we're starting to 
feel that fire at the level of Manipura chakra, the rams, the level of the belly, the navel. Color is orange, linking to our fire sensor. As we start to kick that up a notch now, we're going to activate it a bit more in this next two rounds. Bring the hands together, Kali Mudra, the level of the heart. Push them together. And bring the feet slightly wider than hip width this time. Just preparing for our wood chopper. Pushing the feet away from the mat. Remember your tailbone, your spine. Big breath in this time. As we breathe out, we're going to do our Kali, Kali breath. We're also going to shoot the arms up into the air in our Kali mudra. Okay. So let's just do one cleansing breath first. Breathe in and out through the nose normally. Breathe in for Kali breath. <sighs> Big breath in. We're going to do two wood choppers this time. So breathe in. <laughs> breathe in, shoot up. Beautiful. Bring those hands down. This time we're going to step the left leg back. Keep the knee up as we come into high lunge with Kali Mudra. Soften those shoulders. Bend nice and generously in that front knee. A little bit in that back knee as well. We're going to exhale, open up for Warrior 2. Scooching that toe forwards a little bit more. Mat's a bit stretchy here. And we're out on a nice little angle there with our foot. So, nice and strong. Bend that front knee, it has a habit of creeping forwards. Lift and uh, flip the palms, and then turn the palms back down, soften the shoulders, tuck the tailbone under, gaze is over that front middle finger. Feeling that warrior energy in the core here as well. We're gonna take a big breath in, and as we exhale, we're gonna do Kali breath. Windle those hands down to fly, flame, frame the front foot. And this time we're going to step it back down with facing dog, pedaling out here. We're going to lift the left leg. And then we're going to take a big breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to bring that leg, hover into high plank, bring the left knee towards the left elbow. And then send it back, stoking the flames. Beautiful, release that leg. Downward facing dog, hover into high plank. And then knees, chest and chin. Or whilst you're in downward facing dog, you can hover into high plank and just lower straight down, it's up to you. Those are your options. The second one's gonna make you work a little bit harder. Big breath in again, if you want to, you can do your cobra. Keeping the fingertips just above the shoulders. Keeping that belly on the ground. The belly button on the ground. Opening with the shoulders here. Engaging those toes still. I actually, I prefer this, this variation of sphinx, so I'm gonna stay down here. Big breath in. <sighs> Curly breath out. Curling the toes, we're gonna lift up to downward facing dog. Big breath in. <sighs> Curly breath out. Take a few normal breaths here. And we're gonna step or hop to the front of our mat. This time, feet are about hip width apart. We're gonna swish and the fingertips along the top of the mat. Big breath in. Chair pose, in Katasana. Tuck the tailbone under. Squeeze the knees together towards the midline. Imagine there's a block or a book between them. Big breath in, reach up, exhale, dip a little bit lower. Big breath in, nice long legs, Kali Mudra. Exhale to the heart, Kali breath. And release the hands here, rocking forwards and backwards. Nice. We're coming for the next round. We're gonna do again on the right side this time, so. Coming into Kali Mudra, left thumb on the top, pressing away from the mat with our feet. 
getting a little bit warm in here now. I've got all my windows closed because I don't want background noise. Curling, so rolling the shoulder blades back, lifting up nice and tall, pushing the hands together, creating a little bit of heat in the heart and probably in the belly now, maybe you're feeling it in your core. Big breath in, and we're going to do Kali breath as we release and shoot the hands up again, okay? So big breath in. <sighs> big breath in for wood chopper. Ah! One more time. Ah! All right, release those hands. Stepping back with the right leg this time, coming into our high lunge. So, bending that back here, but you could do warrior one as well, with any more advanced practices, practitioners, practices, students, words. <laughs> you could do warrior one if you want to here. I'm gonna stick with my little high lunge, bending in the knee, finding that stability, that grounding, and then finding our fire. Exhale, open up warrior two, opening up that back foot, and then bending that knee a little bit deeper, tuck the tailbone under, flip the palms, flip them back, soften the shoulders. Big breath in, breathing out for Kali breath. <sighs> Windmill those hands down to frame the front foot, step it back, downward facing dog, take a little pedal out here. And why not? Let's breathe in and out for Kali breath. Breathe it in. Ah, lovely. This time we're going to lift that right leg. Big breath in as we bring the right knee towards the right elbow. Exhale, shoot it back. Place that foot down. Inhale, hover into high plank, either knees, chest, and chin, or all the way down. And then rising up as high as you like, like a phoenix, rising from the ashes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Big breath in for Kali breath. <sighs> Let go of any shizzle you no longer need. Coming back up, downward facing dog. Step or hop to the front of your mat. Swish the fingertips on the mat and rise up. Look at that the chair pose, tuck the tailbone under. Lengthen Kali Mudra, big breath in. Kali breath. Drop it to the heart. Beautiful, release the hands. Whew. Turning up the heat in here. It's getting hot in here. So hot. Oh yeah. Whew. <laughs> Hope you don't flash you. Anything about the, uh, I was just thinking, you know, orange pants, but then I wasn't thinking, uh, well, I'm going to be fine. I should've worn, should've worn shorts underneath, guys. It's all good, it's all good. All right then. <laughs> getting ready for our next round. Okay, so keeping those feet a little bit wider than hip width, ready for our wood chopper. We're gonna be doing three wood choppers now. This is our last round. If you're feeling energetic, then you could uh, redo this whole video again if you want to. We can just hit pause and do this one a few more times. Um, <clears throat> I'm just trying to keep it shorter today, so uh, this will be enough. If uh, those of you that just wanna have a little bit of a sweat on, then this is gonna be perfect for you. So, final round, guys. We're gonna do one round on the left, one round on the right. Starting with our feet grounded down, lifting up nice and tall, remembering our hips, spine, roll those hands out, and then we're gonna bring ourselves Kali Mudra, the level of a heart, left thumb on top. Squeeze those hands together. Squeeze those hands together, focusing on the heart, then the feet, and that middle core. Feeling the fire now. Okay. We're gonna take a big breath in, and as we exhale, we're gonna shoot the arms up. Kali Mudra, you know the drill. Big breath in. <sighs> Lovely. Big breath in, wood chopper. Ah! 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 <laughs> Beautiful. Bring that left leg back, coming into our high lunge, Kali Mudra. Exhale, open up to warrior two. 
Big breath in and Kali breath out. <sighs> Wiggle those hands down, frame the front foot. This time we're going to drag the right foot back. Bend the knee, open up the hip. And then this time we're going to take a big breath in. We're going to bring ourselves into high plank. Right knee comes to right elbow, left elbow. Bring it back, stoke those flanks. Control. Beautiful, keep that leg in the air, hover into a high plank. And try not to face plant the floor. <laughs> Whew, rising up. Big breath in. <sighs> Carly breath release. Curl those toes, coming into downward facing dog. Big breath in, Kali breath out. <sighs> Step or hop to the front of your mat. Swish the fingertips on the mat and rise up into Katasana chair pose. Bring the hands to Kali Mudra. Right elbow is gonna come over the left knee, bit of a twist here. Nice and long from the crown of the head. And the tailbone. Trying to square those knees. Big breath in as we come up to the standing position. And then Kali breath as we come out. <sighs> Drop it to the heart. Step and forward, and keep the hands here, keep that power for the last round. <laughs> Open up the feet a little bit wider than hip width. Push the hands together. Remembering our ground all the way up to the crown of the head. Last round, so let's make it make it a good one. Big breath in, Kali breath, we're gonna shoot the arms up with Kali Mudra. Which all right, so feet are just uh, just wider than hip width, is what I'm trying to say. Big breaths in and out through the nose. Last round, so let's make this one count. Big breath in, and as we breathe out, we're shooting those hands up for Kali breath. <sighs> Beautiful. Big breath in, wood chopper. Ah! back this time with the right leg. This is like with the right leg, I don't know what I'm doing. Right leg steps back. Coming into our high lunge. Open up that back foot, bend in that front knee for warrior two. Big breath in, tuck the tailbone under, breathe out for Kali breath. <sighs> Windmill the hands down to frame that foot. This time we're gonna scooch the left leg all the way up and back. Bend the knee, open up the hip here, making sure you don't dump weight into one shoulder. Big breath in, let's bring the left knee towards the left elbow, hover into high plank, bring it round to the right elbow, and then bring it all the way back. Keep that left leg in the air, square the hips, hover into high plank, and exhale, lower down onto the mat. Rising up for Cobra, big breath in. Exhale, Kali breath. <sighs> Go curl those toes under, pushing up to downward facing dog. Big breath in, breathe out for Kali breath. <sighs> Step or hop the feet towards the front of your mat. Brush the hands, the fingertips on the top of the mat and then scooch on up. Ukatasana chair pose. Nice and strong here. This time we're gonna bring the hands to Kali Mudra. Right elbow this time is gonna go over the left knee, so opposite way uh, to last time. Try and find some length here, dip a bit lower. Bring that, bring that bend in, keeping the knees in line. Nice twist, open the heart here. Big breath in, reaching all the way up, Kali Mudra. This time, staying where you are, I'm gonna face you. 
I'm gonna close the eyes. I'm gonna open out the hands, reach them up towards the sky. And we're gonna very slowly do some sun arms. So just keep the arms nice and high. And we slowly, very, very slowly start to lower them. Keeping in your mind's eye a big ball of sun at the level of the navel. Stoking your inner fire. It's really important during these colder months. Bring our own heat. Still so I'm only halfway down with my hands. Spreading that warmth all over the body. Like your own big sun. And then bringing the hands to heart centre. Giving yourselves a thank you for rocking up today and practicing on the mat. I would like to thank you for stoking the inner flame. <laughs> I hope that you leave feeling empowered and ready for the next chapter of your life. Thank you so much for joining me guys. Namaste.